Hey guys, Curtis the Urban Farmer here. This is my bike setup. I had a lot of people ask me about this over the years, so let's make a little video on what it is and what it's all about. So I've had this rig for about six years, actually five going on six. Um, and it is, the bike is a, is a surly big dummy equipped with a Bionics SL350 HT XL. So it is a hybrid electric bike. I hooked the Bionics up to the bike. Uh, it's got a little console here that controls the assist level that you run it at. And um, I use this bike for everything. We do our downtown restaurant deliveries with this. I'm just actually coming back from the farmer's market. I, no I normally don't do the farmer's market with my bike. I usually take my truck. And, um, but the truck's in the shop, so rode the bike this week and um, okay so let me just explain a couple things to you so this is a, a utility bike it's a long tail uh, extra cycle has this is an extra cycle design but they partnered up with Surly to make this bike and the trailers are custom built I, I made the designs and I um, had a friend of mine weld them for me I uh, had a friend weld the steel and then I had a separate friend weld the um, the aluminum on the top which makes it a lot lighter because when I first built it I had a uh, half inch plywood on the top deck which was extremely heavy so that was didn't really work that well um, so the aluminum is great because it's really light this one's cool because I can uh, take this off so I can either have it a flat as a flat deck or as a, a little kind of like a truck so you can just, it, it's a little easier to tote things around because you can just throw stuff in there. You don't have to worry about strapping it down. Um, the really cool thing about this setup is that this trailer has, if I can find it, where is it? It has an arm that, um, yeah, here it is. So this guy, I can rig up an arm on this trailer. It goes in here. So I can either have that trailer as a standalone or I can rig it up like this and run it like a B train behind the other one. And so when I go to the market with a lot of gear, you know, my market gear there, I've got some of my market gear here as well. Um, I need to have two trailers to take everything that I, that I need to take to market. So um, that's the kind of general idea there. The, um, you'll see here. That's just a swivel joint, and it's the same thing for the way the it's attached on the, the bike itself here. Check it out. So we just, we just uh, used a couple um, U-bolts and bolted that onto the bike, and then the uh, swivel joint is what connects to the, the trailer arm. The types of wheels I use for it are a, a kid's BMX wheel. They're a 16 inch tire, but I believe the, the it's called the 16 inch tire, but I believe the rim is only 12 inches. And uh, they're sturdy. I like them because they don't bend. The bigger the wheel you go, if you're carrying heavier loads, you'll put more strain on those rims and you might bend them. So these are a steel rim. They're very robust. I've had the same four for almost six years, and I've never had a problem with them. You know, the, one of the challenges to to running a farm this way is that you, you you'll get flats uh, when you're carrying heavy loads, so you always have to be prepared. You got to have tubes with you and a pump, and sometimes be prepared to change a flat when you're loaded. And that and that's why I don't take it things like I, that's why I don't go to market too often like this. Because if I get a flat on the way there, it's a real drag. So, you know, you just got to make sure you're running your tires at the right pressure and, and you're careful not to go up curbs really quickly or go off things that could potentially pinch that tire. So that's some of the stuff I've learned over the years. Um, you know, I, I haul my rototiller on these things sometimes. Um, we pretty much run most of the operations on our farm with these bike trailers. We don't have to use the truck for everything. Um, primarily just that for really heavy stuff but when we're going back and forth between plots we're harvesting with these with these trailers and I'll show you an image of uh, what it looks like when it's loaded with gear 
but yeah that's pretty much it that's the rig so if you found that useful please like and share the video with your friends subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this and if you want to learn more in-depth information about how i farm and the techniques that i use check out my online course profitableurbanfarming.com and check out my book the urban farmer at theurbanfarmer.co all right thanks for watching